I think the DIC Young Professional has a very, uh, very positive impact in terms of the, the, uh, the professional advancement of uh, what I do and what my company does. And I think it starts with um, the, the my involvement in the technical committees, and, and that's, I think, the, the most immediate impact that I'm going to see. Um, the, I started with technical committees maybe two, three years ago, and it was a big learning curve because I had to learn things by myself. There wasn't a lot of initial training, and, and I had to learn it as I was trying to write standards. So that was very challenging. But I feel after this training, I'm going to go back and have a very uh, solid understanding of the process, and that, that will help me be more effective in how I do uh, standards from now on. Definitely the workshop was, was a good eye-opener and definitely inspired me to uh, part participate more in, in, the, uh, in the work of the technical committees. One of the aspects of it is, is the, the networking that we get here. And there is a lot of events that has networking involved in it. And you run it into people, and it happened to me, where I ran into people who had um, experience in the fields that are very uh, close to what I do personally in my job and what my company does. And I have talked to them and I'm planning to contact them after this to volunteer to help with uh, writing those um, standards. Because at the end of the day, my, my employer would benefit from being involved and being, influen uh, being influential in writing those standards. There, there were a lot of very valuable sessions we had and, and, uh, during the workshop and, and I really appreciate the, the amount of effort that went into uh, producing them. Networking was definitely one of the big ones, but another very interesting one was what we did with a simulation of a technical committee session. That was very interesting because we got to be able to sit in a room from different parties and pretend like we were different interest groups. And that really showed how, in a real world, when people are doing the standards, how they need to, I guess the word was consensus, to be able to get to a consensus between conflicting interests sometimes and be able to resolve that at the end of the day in a, in a sit-down meeting and be able to produce a standard out of it. So that was, that was very useful in my opinion. I would actually ask the, uh, the experts that are interested in the work of IEC to get involved. And if they're already involved, to get more involved. because. Uh, the, uh, the work they put into the IEC standard development is, is something that feeds back to themselves and their company in terms of the interests that they have when uh, those uh, standards are published and are used as an application. If you're an end user, if you're a, ma a manufacturer, if you're a certifier, all of those uh, parties interested in, in a standard will eventually have to comply to them in a way or another or a, a benefit from other people complying to them. So being involved in the development of those standards from day one can have a tremendous uh, benefit to your company and, and yourself as, as a part of that company.